Hi guys! Today I'm going to be making some Vietnamese pastry pies and um, therefore I bought this box at Albertsons. It was $6.69 and you can find this in the frozen section um, next to the like frozen pie shells. I also bought um, some ground pork and this was $4.79. And I also have a bag of peas and carrots, and that was $2. Carrots and peas are optional, because uh, it's normally not added to the Vietnamese pastry pies. I found at the 99 cents only store, I was really excited about this. Um, I got this probably a couple days ago. And they're cookie cutters, but there's three different sizes in them. Look. And I thought they would be perfect for making um, the Vietnamese pastry pies. So go out there and get one for only 99 cents. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to soak my mushrooms. And I have two different kinds here. I have, this here is the shiitake mushrooms. And this is the dried black fungus mushrooms. And these are pre-shredded like that. You can get both of these um, types of mushrooms at your local Asian market. Uh, now I'm just waiting for my water to boil so I can soak them in the hot water. So let me go ahead and pour the hot water into the bowls. All right. Now the shiitake mushrooms take about about 15 to 20 minutes, and the dried black fungus mushrooms take about 10 minutes. Now I'm going to season the ground pork, and I'm going to use some um, fish sauce here. Just give it a couple splashes. Let me move it over. Okay, so that's good enough. And let's give it a little bit of sugar. Alright, that's good. And let's add some garlic salt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And some black pepper. And mix everything well. Now I'm going to add some chopped yellow onions, um, and you can add as much as you like. Also, if you don't want to use um, yellow onions, you can um, add um, shallots instead. That's fine. I'm also going to add some uh, minced garlic, and this is optional. If you don't like garlic, you can leave it out. So let's go ahead and mix everything up. Now my uh, dried black fungus mushrooms are done, so let me go ahead and strain them. Strain the black fungus mushrooms and just give them a quick rinse. I have minced the dried black fungus mushrooms. Let's go ahead and set them over here. We don't need that much because um, I'm not going to split the pork in thirds, so I really don't need that much. Um, dried mushrooms. Still waiting for this here um, to finish soaking. My shiitake mushrooms are done, so let me go ahead and um, strain them as well. Again, give them a quick rinse, and um, go ahead and squeeze some of the excess water out. Like that. Slice or chop your shiitake mushrooms. Um, just make sure you remove the stems. Right here. Okay. Here we are. Everything is now set and ready to go. We have our marinated pork, um, the defrosted carrots and peas, because these were frozen, and our chopped up and sliced mushrooms. I have taken the ground pork and placed them in three separate bowls because, like I said earlier, I'm going to show you um, three different ways to make, uh, make the filling. And the first one would be the closest to the original recipe for the Vimy pastry pies. Except um, liverwurst is usually added. I'm going to leave that out because I really don't care for it in, the, in with the meat. Okay, the second one, I'm going to add the carrot and peas and the shiitake mushrooms. And the third one, uh, I'm just going to add the dried black fungus mushrooms. So you can choose whichever filling uh, you want to use for your pastry pies. 
one is pretty much done. I'm not going to add anything else to it. It's just basically what we had in the beginning, the, on the onions. And like I said, you can replace it with shallots instead. And um, the minced garlic. And that's it. We're done with that. All right. The second one, I'm going to add um, the carrots and peas. I'm going to dump the whole thing in there because my kids like carrots and peas. So put the whole thing in. And then I'm going to add the um, shiitake mushrooms. And I think this is a really good combination. Of, out of all three, I think this is probably my favorite. Because it has the shiitake mushrooms. And you know how much I love that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, here comes the third one. The third one is pretty similar to, um, you know, your egg roll fillings. If you were to make Vietnamese egg rolls. It's pretty much close to that. You have the same ingredients. That's okay. I just might not add, add it all in. Why not? Okay, so go ahead. We'll go ahead and mix everything up. I preheated my oven at 350 degrees. Okay, and you also want to place some parchment paper on like a baking dish or whatever you want to use. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. And I've taken the dough out of the box. This is what it looks like. Let's open the bag. Place some um, all-purpose flour on your workspace because um, the dough can get a little sticky. Okay, you've opened up the dough. Um, go ahead and place your cookie cutter um, like right here. That's perfect. And go ahead and press down on it. And then remove any of the excess dough around it. Okay, so there you are. We have one done so far. This is what it looks like after using the cookie cutter. I'll go ahead and press this on, place this on there for right now and continue. So let's go ahead and right there and press down on it. Like that. And again, just move, remove the excess. There we go. Press it hard. Make sure it cuts it. Okay, there we go. And there's our second one. Ta da! And it's going to go right on top of that later. So I'll put it right here. And let me go ahead and finish doing this. So here they are. Out of uh, one sheet, I was able to make nine of these. So I have one more sheet to go and I'm going to put the meat right in the center and I'm going to use the smallest cookie cutter here as the guide. I used my biggest one right here to make, um, to cut out the dough. So I'm going to put like an, a small indention, press lightly just to, just so that I know where to put my meat. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to add a little bit here. And add a little bit of this there. Okay. There we go. So you have a little bit of everything. You have a little bit of mushroom, the carrots and the peas. And let's see, I'm going to add another mushroom in there. And add another carrot. Alright, so that's good enough. We have to try to fit it into that circle that we made, which is our guide have here one egg yolk. I'm not using any of the egg white. And we're going to use this um, like a glue so that the piece will stick to the bottom piece. <laughs> and just go right around it. Use what you got. Alright, there we are. And let's go ahead and put the other piece right on top. Like that. I'm going to press it down, press them together like that, right around the circle. Okay, make sure the fillings stay in the center and they don't spill out. It's... Mm -hmm. Okay. That's perfect. So go ahead and use the big one um, at first to cut these out 
and then use the smallest one as a guide for your meat and then the middle one you can use to make um, the indention right there and this will help um, keep the um, the dough together but um, yeah just press down gently you don't want to go all the way through and then lift it up and this is what you get like that and we got one done. Ta-da! See? Now I've placed the other uh, piece of um, pastry sheet back into the freezer because it had um, thawed a little bit too much. So it was really sticky. Um, I'll go ahead and do the, that one later. I'll just start with these. Um, and the next one, I'm going to use this filling here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use the smallest one as my guide for my meat. And just light, lightly press down so we know where to put our meat. And again, get a little bit of everything. A little bit of meat and the mushrooms and garlic and all that. All right. Try to stay in the center there. Press it together. Like that. Looks good to me. So let's go ahead and place the other sheet right on top. Oh, don't forget our our egg thingy here. Our egg wash or whatever you want to call it. Oh, you know what? I need to find my brush because we need <laughs> we need to brush some of these this egg stuff right on top. Can't do it without it, so I have to look for it. Let me go ahead and place this right on top. Very quick, very easy. Kind of using your finger to push the meat toward the center. Like that. Using my middle one, the middle size. Press gently down to make an indention. Bring it right back up, and there's our second one. Like that. Okay, let me go find my brush real quick. Okay, let's check on the um, the pastry pies. Let's see. It's 30 minutes, and it looks like they are done. But I'm going to um, turn off the, the oven and just let it sit for another uh, 20 to 30 minutes because I'm afraid if you take them out right now, sometimes the meat is undercooked. Um, so to ensure that it's fully cooked, I'm just going to... Let it sit in there for another maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then we can go ahead and take them out. Okay, they've been sitting in there for 20 minutes now, so let's go ahead and open it up. And let's see if they are done, which they should be. Let them open. Um, I'm not sure which one has which filling in it, <laughs> so we're just going to have to cut them in half and see. Oh, it's nice and crunchy and flaky. This one has it has the uh, dried fungus mushroom. I see it right there. Let's see on the other side. Okay, let me try to open it up. There we go. Okay, let's see the other one. Let's cut these open here. Okay, this is the plain one. As you can see, it has nothing in it but just the meat. Right, let's check out this one here. Okay. It has the shiitake mushrooms in it. You can get the. There we go. See? Okay, let's get 
put it on the side. They're so flaky <laughs> and fragile. There I go. Alright. Time to give it a taste test. There we go. I'm going to eat this one. Mmm. Oh, hot. Still hot. Mmm. <laughs> Be careful. It's still hot inside, but really good. So much better than the store bought for sure. So, like I said, the store bought is very plain, which is okay. I mean, that's the way it's supposed to be, but I just prefer it with more stuff on the inside. I think it tastes better. There we are. The set is already done, so I'll go ahead and take this batch out. There we go. And here it is. Ban bate so really nice and golden brown. That's when you can go ahead and take them out of the oven. And they're really delicious. And these make a great breakfast or snack. On the inside, once you cut them up, you see you see the mushrooms in there and the carrots and peas and the flaky crust. It's absolutely dish delicious. It's so good. Mmm, delicious snack or breakfast for you guys. There you go. Thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe. And please click like before you leave. Oh, and also, um, hold on. Okay, and I also wanted to mention that um, this set here, this is an extra set that I have purchased. And that will be in my next 1,000 subscribers um, giveaway. So be sure to subscribe. And... Um, this is just one of the items that will be added in the box of goodies for my next 1,000 subscribers giveaway. Thanks so much. Have a great day. And I'll see you later, alligator. Bye.